hello oh hello there hi everybody this is mr duncan very late on a wednesday evening it is now coming up to 10 15 at night yes don't worry there isn't anything wrong with your calendar or clock it is wednesday and it is very late at night or maybe early in the morning where you are who knows so it's mr duncan that's me as promised last sunday i did say that i would be here again on wednesday to let you know what's happening with the computer because i've been so busy over the past few days trying to sort all of the problems out with my old computer but sadly it looks as if i'm going to have to buy a new one in fact that is what i am going to do so i can give you some updates now on what is happening I have decided to buy a new computer. It will be arriving, <laughs> fingers crossed, it will be arriving sometime next week, maybe early next week. As you may know, um, I won't be here on the 15th, no, 18th of February. I won't be here on the 18th of February for various reasons. I have a lot going on during February. It's a very busy month, in fact. So, <laughs> I do apologise for not being on on the 18th of February. So, make a note of that. But, of course, I will be on this coming Sunday. I will be on at the normal time of 2 o'clock UK time on Sunday. But, for now, I am here live are you surprised to see me? Is it a nice surprise? That's the important thing, of course, because sometimes you can have surprises that are not very nice. And sometimes a surprise can be nice and pleasant. So I hope this one is very pleasant. Would you like to see my new computer? Would you like to see a photograph of it? OK, then, just behind me, I have some things prepared. So here it is. This is what my new computer will look like. And this is this is not the actual computer. This is just the actual case. So <laughs> this is just the box that all of the bits will be inside. Can you, can you see it? There it is. So there is my new computer. That is just the box that it will come in. Um, so that's just empty and of course I have ordered lots of things to go inside the computer so it will work <laughs> of course I won't be building it myself I was going to have a go at building the computer on my own but I decided to change my mind because I thought well if I get into any difficulties I might find that I have no one to turn to so I didn't want to do that. Also, it can be a very expensive game building your own computer. So I decided to get in touch with someone and they will be building it for me. I have customised all of the parts inside. So the new computer should run very well indeed. It is a very high specification computer. So I'm hoping it will work well. We have some live chatters. Oh, hello there. Thanks for joining me. If you have just clicked on my thumbnail, thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. Wow, such a surprise. Thank you very much. I'm glad it was a nice surprise <laughs> and not a horrible surprise. Homemade new computer. No, Aridas. I'm not building it myself. I've decided to to get a professional company to build it. Abdullah says, I am sleeping now. Why are you studying at this moment? Well, I suppose you could say that this is an English lesson because I am using English. But I'm also letting you know about what is happening with the equipment that I use to make my video lessons and, of course, to send my live streams out to you. 
Alice is here hello Alice watching in Russia I was watching some videos when I saw the notification about the live chat it is 115 well now it's 120 120 in the morning in Russia oh, wow it's already tomorrow in Russia good evening Mr Duncan where with you whatever in the morning or in the afternoon Chiheb hello Chiheb thanks for joining me on the live chat it's so nice to see so many people here I think I have a strange feeling that Mr Steve has just arrived as well because he's been out tonight and I've been on for about 10 minutes so it looks as if Mr Steve is very early returning from his rehearsal tonight so he's just behind me I'm in the car driving in Korea well I hope you don't Korea off the road it doesn't sound very safe I hope you're not driving the actual car I hope you're watching in the passenger passenger seat I like your English thank you Samir you're very kind thank you very much for that I was supposed to come on at 10 o'clock but I had a few problems tonight with other things I don't know what it is about this mon month so far I've had lots and lots of problems I was asked if I have recovered from my cold well fortunately it wasn't a cold last Sunday I thought maybe I had the start of a cold or fever but fortunately it hasn't happened but where is Mr Steve where is he oh Darby is here hello Darby ah Mr Steve is here as well hello Mr hello hello, hello. hello Mr Steve hello Mr Duncan <laughs> how was your how was your rehearsal tonight oh it was great is it going yes, well it's going well yes we're doing too much on the uh, sitting in the seats I think I've got a bit hoarse oh so I I'm see I'm not going to do too much talking tonight so Mr Steve has been using his voice a lot tonight he's yes. been singing so he's feeling a little hoarse hoarse that's so, what we say when hmm. our voice has been stretched and used too much so if your voice is not working very well if you are losing your voice if your voice sounds like this we can say that you are feeling hoarse yes <laughs> I don't know why they say that I don't Mr Duncan are you not sleepy it is late in Europe thank you Lucas it is around about 25 past 10 at night now so it's not it's not too late it's not midnight yet Mr Duncan and Mr Steve yes we are here I decided to come along and show you my new computer which hopefully will be arriving next week would you like to have another look Is you been showing people your new computer I have there it is there's a picture so that's not the actual computer that's just the case so <laughs> that just gives you an idea of what it looks like I think it looks quite cool actually so that is just the the box the case and of course I I've had the computer I'm having it built from scratch but I'm not doing it myself Mr Duncan has been getting very excited <laughs> I was very excited yesterday for two reasons one the computer hopefully will come next week and then I will have a little bit of time to play with it because there are lots of new things that I have to get used to using and of course I'm very excited because it means that I will be able to do many more live streams without worrying about whether or not the computer will break so that's another good thing so I'm very happy for two reasons one the computer is coming and two I will be able to stream live more often hopefully I thought you the second one was going to be because I was back <laughs> well that's that's the third reason the third reason why I'm happy is because Mr Steve is back I, I have to say that really I suppose <laughs> so lots of people on the live chat what, out there. what's the weather like in much Ooh. Wenlock 
It's uh, about minus one degree centigrade out so, there right now. So it's very cold. It's one degree below zero. So it's very cold. We had some snow, actually. Yesterday, we had some snow. and uh, uh, Most of it has gone now, but we had a little bit of snow yesterday. Uh, so that was quite exciting. It hasn't gone above freezing all day today. Nice to see you, Mr. Steve and Mr. No Duncan. Comment. Oh, Belarusia <laughs> is here. Belarusia. Well, Hello. I can't concentrate on everything because I'm looking at the live chat. <laughs> I'm holding a piece of paper. Shall I take that off you? And also... <laughs> Ow. Mr. Steve nearly gave me a paper cut then. That's very fancy, your new computer. It's very fancy. It's, that's just the box, though. So that's the outside of it. So, yes, I, I'm having it custom built. We'll be able to run the whole of Much Wenlock with this. I think I will be able to stream to to not just the planet, but maybe to outer space as well. Maybe to that that little Tesla car that's now floating around the planet. Did you see that yesterday? Did you see that big rocket take off yesterday? It's amazing. Wasn't it exciting? It looked like something out of Thunderbirds. It, it reminded me of the the spaceship from Star Wars. Do you know when when Star Wars, Star Wars, the first film at the beginning, first of all, the, the big space cruiser goes across and then another spaceship goes across. Oh, sorry. No, it's the small ship first, isn't it? The small spaceship. And I think that spaceship looks a bit like the one that went off into space yesterday. Well, his car is has gone off course. I heard it on the news on the way oh, back. what's happened? That it, it, it's flying off towards an asteroid belt. Oh, I see. <laughs> apparently. So apparently Elon Musk's Tesla sports car, which was launched into space yesterday, apparently it's now floating away. It's not going on the course it was expecting to do. It's oh. now going towards an asteroid belt. No doubt it'll get pummeled by rocks. And as you know, there are no traffic lights in space. Look what I have here. I have five pounds. Oh, OK. Mr. Steve. I why I got that out. Mr. Steve has five pound in his pocket. I don't know why he's telling us this. It's our new indestructible. Look, you can't you can't break it. Five pound notes. Oh, there it look, is. We've got, uh... and, and on the back, on the back of the new five pound note, it's it's Winston Churchill. There he is. Winston Churchill on the back of the new five pound note well that was very interesting thanks steve for that can't break them carlos says mr duncan Ooh. yes you can <laughs> oh dear oh dear i've broken a five pound note i don't think you've broken it i think you've ripped it oh i didn't they said they were indestructible well, not with your big fingers i'll have to get some sellotape on that the problem Ooh. is mr steve has very Look big fingers and, and he does tend to break Ooh. things i'm gonna go and fix that now well Should done go fix it now you did a good job of that <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can get my money back for that. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Well. One broken five pound note. That was broken. It's not broken. You don't break a note. It was you, faulty. You, you, you rip. It you was tear. faulty. You tear or rip. What comments are we getting? It's very hot in here, by the way. Yes, that's because it's, it's not outside. It's inside. <laughs> oh, I've been inside. I can see you live. Oh, for the first time, I can see you live, says... Carlos, who's watching in Spain. Yes, we are live at the moment at just coming up to 10.30, half past 10 on a Wednesday night. So it is now official. My new computer is on its way. So hopefully next week it will arrive and then I will have a few days to play with it, to get used to it. So um, <laughs> I, can, I can learn how to use it, of course. Someone says... That maybe that five pound note is fake. Yes. Yes, maybe it's fake. That's why it ripped. Ah. Mm. Maybe someone has given you a fake five. Yes, you're not supposed to be able to break these new five pound notes. That doesn't even feel. That doesn't feel like a real. I think Mr. Steve's got a fake five pound note. Maybe it's one of these ones that's worth a million pounds. Some of them have got little. So I've got some hieroglyphics and writing on it somewhere. And if you get one of these rare you, ones, you know that worth you, a lot of you money. know that's not true. You know that's just a lie somebody put out. No, I think this no. is the one. That uh, that's fake. That's a fake one. Oh, Hello really? from Italy. I like watching you at night. Says Ernesto. Thank you, Ernesto. 
Thank you very much. A lot of people asking what the specifications are for the new computer. I've got the specifications behind me. The only problem is it might bore many people because not everyone is into computers. Wow. So somebody is. Well, one or two people are interested, but I think I think the actual computer, the computer jargon or computer specifications are not that interesting. But anyway, here top we go. Top line, top line. Oof. Yes, yes, top line, top <laughs> line. Steve Which says. Which means just the, the the basic essentials. We don't need well, any details. Okay. Is that right? If you say top line, it just means give me a brief. Just, just summary. A, yes, just the bullet points. The bullet points. <laughs> the bullet yes. points means just the important parts. Okay, let's have have a look. Okay, we've got uh, the CPU, which is the brain, the central brain of the computer. I have gone for an i7 8700 K six core processor. Six core. Ooh. Six core processor. It's probably easier if you just hold it up there. You see, there oh. it is. See, and be very lazy. I'm not even That's sure. It. So, you see, nothing comes out clear on the camera. See, hopefully, when my new computer comes, you'll be able to see everything clearly. Shall I read it out and in, in, also, in a theatrical manner? Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> I could read it out like I was reading Shakespeare. You're not drunk again, are you? No, I've not had anything to drink tonight. You're drunk. Let me read it out. No, Go no, on. no, it's okay. <laughs> um, oh, the motherboard. Okay. The motherboard is an Asus Tough Z370 Plus Gaming, and that has all the whistles and bells. It had lots of lots of lovely features. Uh, I've gone for a very big memory, 30, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Is that all, Mr. Duncan? 32 gigabytes is a lot of RAM. Uh, the you graphics never have card. enough RAM. The graphics card. Okay. <laughs> I'm annoying Mr. Duncan go, tonight. Go and repair your £5 note. Because <laughs> a lot of people are interested in this. I don't think they're interested you in... You just said they wouldn't be. No, no, some people... Some people, but they don't want to hear you interrupting me all the time. The I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> See you later. The graphics card. Now, the graphics card is one of the most important things, certainly for me, because I will be using a lot of cameras. So the graphics card needs to be very good. So the graphics card, I have gone for an NVIDIA 11 gigabytes geoforce gtx 1080 ti so that's a very high specification for a graphics card uh, i've also got uh, a solid state drive for the main drive 250 gigabytes and for the main storage i've got four terabytes of storage and that will be used to store all of my high definition footage that I record for my lessons. So I think that's it really. So I hope that helps for those who are still watching. <laughs> Would you mind telling us the value of the new computer? Why? Why do you want to know that? It's let's just say it's very, very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. Important is that you are happy with the new computer. I think so, yes. The sympathy of Mr. Steve makes us all happy with his presence. Really? I think Mr. Steve has gone off upstairs to repair his £5 note because he just tore it in half. I don't know why. What is your computer's options? I think I've already told you that. It's very high specification. Everything is very high. <laughs> Will your new computer rip some threads? Yes, it will. It, it is actually overclocked to around about 5 megahertz or just over. So the actual processor has been overclocked, which means it will run a lot faster than it should. And of course, the other thing to remember is if you, you overclock your computer, you have to make sure that it stays very cool as well please don't scare us by telling us the price <laughs> what 
What is the worst thing you've ever done, Mr. Duncan? Asks Eric. The worst thing I've ever done? Um, I'm not sure, really. I've done many silly things. So um, maybe there are too many to mention. Do you have any new spring flowers in your garden? Asks Alice. Yes, the flowers are slowly coming up because spring is on the way. Spring is coming very soon. And some of the trees are also coming out into bud. They are just starting to come out. So, yes, I'm very, very excited about that. The value of your new computer. Everyone wants to know the price of the new computer. Let's just say it's quite expensive because it has to do a lot of things. Now, I'm not going to tell you the actual price because it might seem as if I'm showing off. But of course, Mr. Steve has helped me buy the computer. And also, I had some lovely donations from you as well. And of course, I have also, I've also made a donation as well. So that should give you an idea of the price. Mr. Duncan, wow, thank you very much. It's a very powerful machine. Also, almost enthusiast grade part congratulations i'm sure you will be able to do much more with the production yes everything that's going into the computer is very high specification we sometimes say high spec as well high spec alaska is here hello alaska thank you for joining me mr steve is back he's back Everyone wants you to come back, Steve. They're all missing you. Oh, are they all going to go? No, not really. Mr. Steve thinks that I want him to go away. Of course not. I could never do that. Everyone wants you to come back. I, I've stopped talking about computers now. So, how are the birds in your garden? Thank you, Nicole. Oh, hello, Nicole. Thank you for watching. <laughs> the birds are okay. At the moment, they're, they're very desperate. Because there isn't much food around. So at the moment, the birds are getting very, very desperate. So there isn't much food around. But I am feeding the birds. I'm putting food into the garden. Although, having said that, Steve, I've almost run out of food for the birds. There's almost none left. Well, you've been sprinkling it on the ground, I noticed. So that the birds, are, if you can't put it in the holders, the special containers that you've been sprinkling it sprinkling it sprinkling it on the ground i have so that the birds can come and uh, take it from there and carry it off and go and eat it in the bushes well the problem is the birds keep eating it too quickly they, they just come down straight do. away and eat all the food so that's what i mean the, the birds yes. are very desperate for food at the moment mm, so i want i want to know what to look out means to look out well if you look out it can mean to to look out to search for something so you might look out something you might look out for something that you you can't find or maybe you look out to keep watch on what is happening yes. around look so, out or maybe yes you can use it as a warning as well yes. you can say look out it means danger is coming your way look out when you're on a golf course, if you're on a golf course, I don't play golf. But there's a very common saying because people are, are whacking balls all over the place and you don't want a golf ball to hit you on the head. So that when when people uh, strike the ball, they always say when there's a people around, don't they? They cry out for to what? warn people. Oh, I see. So when you hit the golf ball, yes. you call for... Why oh, do you say that? You say something, you call out something. Yes, you're right, you? actually, yes. Yes. I think it is, but why? What does it mean? It warns people that there's a there's a fast-moving white ball in the air that if it hits your head will probably send you to hospital. Has anyone ever died from being hit by a golf ball? Yes, they have. Really? Mm, yeah, it's been on the news. I don't like that. So, yeah, yeah. So golf courses can be very dangerous places because there are balls... Really? There are balls 
everywhere, flying around. Uh, yes, at uh, probably 100 miles an hour or something. You don't want one of those hitting you on the head. Apparently, Jarnu, hello Jarnu, says, mm. Hello, Mr. Duncan, is your computer faster than the Amstrad PC 1512? Yes, I think you will find it's much faster. Very, a... very fast. I think maybe, mm. I'm not sure if that's sarcasm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't work out that. Do you Miss... can you still get Amstrad computers? Mr. Steve, you should get tr a treat from Mr. Duncan. Well, would you like some chocolate, Steve? Chocolate? I've just remembered I've got a little bit of chocolate. Now, Mr. Steve has been very good today. You've been very well behaved. Have so <laughs> just for that, I'm going to let you have some chocolate. Would you like to see mm. us share some chocolate? We're going to share some chocolate. I'm, I'm sorry I can't any. share any with you because there isn't enough to go round. I've had actually two chocolate biscuits tonight. Oh, you've had with oh, a I... cup of tea at half time. Oh, I see. So during the break, during your rehearsal, you had a cup of tea and two chocolate biscuits. I did. I did. I yes. didn't. I didn't know that. You In see. fact, they have a raffle as well to try and raise funds because we hire a hall uh, to do the rehearsals in, which costs money. So in order to try and get that money back, they uh, we have to pay for the tea and coffee, which is a pound. And then they hold a raffle uh, with a bottle of wine. And uh, that costs a pound as well. So it costs you two pounds a week to go to this. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, I unfortunately didn't win the raffle tonight. There were probably about 30 people there, so there's about a 1 in 30 chance. Uh, I think I've only won it once in about five years. And uh, that would be for a nice a bottle of wine, assuming you drink. We don't really drink very much wine, so it wouldn't be much use to me, really. Gives me uh, a bit of a funny stomach, so I don't really like wine. I prefer beer. <laughs> but even I don't even drink much of that. Mr. Duncan has gone off to get some chocolate. And uh, he said he's going to share it. But whether he will or not will remain to be seen. There he is in the background. What have you got there, Mr. Duncan? Is it a twirl bar? Yes, I've got some chocolate because Mr. Steve has been so good. And he's he's offered his time tonight, of course, for free. What's that over there, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> oh, you you have to be quicker than that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Steve. Tried to take the chocolate then, but look we... out! <laughs> it's all mine, all mine. You uh, can have it back. I I love that that shot then, that shot of the light just coming down in your face. I've got to get a a screenshot of that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> you look you look like you're coming out of uh, out of hell or something. Oh, I get man. ultimately Don't worry, I'm not gonna take I'll too get much off. ultimately taste if Steve actually gets chocolate. I don't know what you mean by that. Chocolate. What does it Mr. mean? Mr. Duncan, your accent is clearer than Steve. Yes, well sometimes mm. Steve speaks very quickly, but sometimes he speaks slowly. Keep up, keep up. Yes, you have to keep up. <laughs> but it's a very good way of improving your listening because I, I speak slightly slower and Steve, your speed is a little faster. So it's a very good way of improving your listening skills. Yes, I you see, Mr. Duncan's slowing things down because he used to be a teacher, whereas I'm speaking at <laughs> I normal used to be. speed. I used to be a teacher. I'm still, yes. I'm still a teacher now, by the way. Still doing no, it. No, I meant when you were in your classes in... Uh, in uh, China. Oh, I see. You have been used to talking a bit. So, well, of course, you are used to talking slower now. Whereas I am just talking because I'm only the assistant. I'm not a teacher. So therefore, I sometimes I'll speed my words up and talk faster and faster and faster. Steve is my trainee. Hey, we've got someone watching in... I'm not enunciating. We have someone watching in Florida at the moment. Wow. Oh, I bet it's I bet it's nice in Florida. At the moment. Yeah, I think it's always nice in Florida. On the beach. I think it's safe to say it's always nice in Florida. What's going on with the stock markets, by the way? The Dow Jones is down. Yes. Drastically. It's, it's not the Dow Jones. It's the Down yes. Jones. Down well, Jones. You see, I'm making a joke there. We don't want to crash. All our pensions depend on it. So, yes, I'm trying to say hello to someone. 
who's watching in Florida hello to Brendan Hassan hello Brendan well, thanks that's a for nice name apparently Brendan likes the videos and can I say thank you from Florida thank you Brendan you are more than welcome a big hello to all those watching in North America South America East America West America in fact everywhere please send us some nice florida sunshine please over to the uk oh yes we need some sunshine here it's so cold at the moment it's freezing failing that an all expenses paid trip to florida would be uh, very welcome oh i see <laughs> uh Sudia says i am eating some chocolate so i will taste the same oh, thing as you right yes we have to eat some oh, chocolate right. just a moment Oh, Mr. Duncan's going to unwrap the chocolate bar. I'm going to unwrap. There it is, unwrap. To take the wrapping off oh, something. I'm you drooling at the thought of it. Unwrap. Mr. Steve is starting to drool. Mm. Oh, my taste buds. Here we go. My saliva is flowing. It's not very easy to get into. You, you know, not very strong. Th this is one of the things that really gets on my nerves nowadays is... is some packaging it's very hard to open have you noticed that it's almost as if they don't want you to get into it Pasta. i'm doing i'm doing it as fast as i can mr steve is so impatient right so let's see what happens now if i it's gonna go all over the floor i can see this happening if i squeeze the bottom something long and brown will come out Oh, the oh. fire's going. That's why it's so hot in here. There we go. Look at that. Can you see it? Are you so going to break that in half, Mr. Duncan? Half? I think I will give you slightly less than half for interrupting me. Don't earlier. get any crumbs on the carpet, will you? It's all right. Don't worry about it. There you go. Oh, is that mine? There we go. We have some chocolate now. So we will mm. now sample the chocolate just to see how, how nice it tastes. Because it might not be very nice. Who knows? It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. Mm. Is it nice, Steve? It's very nice. Mm. I'll cover my mouth. This particular chocolate bar is called Twirl. Twirl. Mm. It's very nice, Mr. Duncan. Of course, this, you bought this, it's a multi-pack. Yes. There were five of these, but we've eaten four of them. So this is the last one because we're so greedy. Is Are you sure that's all the chocolate there is in the house, Mr. Duncan? Is there any more anywhere? I'm very sure. <laughs> it's Cadbury's chocolate. Cadbury's. Uh, which some people think isn't proper chocolate. Um, certainly across Europe, they look at Cadbury's chocolate as being sort of rubbish junk chocolate because they've got their posh belgian chocolates which are very nice of course uh i think isn't cadbury's now owned by an american company it is now owned by a company called Kraft. exactly Kraft. they now own cadbury's chocolate and i think since the mm. takeover a lot of people have complained about the quality of cadbury's chocolate mm. Oh, that is, that is all we've got. That is so nice, isn't it? I need, oh, I need more chocolate now. Sometimes chocolate really does hit the spot. If something hits the spot, it means it just feels just feels right. It feels good. That mm. hits the spot. That really does hit the spot. Mm. I'm almost choking here. <laughs> That's the trouble with chocolate. It sticks in your throat and makes you go a bit hoarse. Does twirl mean something? Yes, twirl yes. means to turn around in a very graceful way. So if I twirl, I will do this. Twirl, I twirl. You twirl around. So it means to spin or go around normally slowly of course you can twirl quickly as well clockwise or anti-clockwise clockwise clockwise or anti-clockwise well it's up to you really clockwise which is the way the clock goes 
I think that's oh. the wrong way around. That, that's the way the clock goes. No, isn't... that way. Well, it depends on who's, ah. depends which way, way but the, we're right. But the problem is this is reversed. Yes. You're looking at the reversed image here. So we're saying that's clockwise as you're looking at it, yes. viewers. So that's clockwise. But because... to us, it's anti-clockwise. Yeah, so, so, yes, that's, that's clockwise yes. and that's anti-clockwise. I hope so, anyway. Oh, yes, as yes. the way you're looking at it. <laughs> I think it is, yes. <laughs> I'm just checking on the screen just to make sure. This is my first time and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you, Sudia. Thank you very much. And I hope you are enjoying your chocolate as much as we did. That went down a treat. We met, we met our neighbours today, didn't we? We've got some lovely new neighbours and we met them today and they were walking their dog and I was walking Mr Steve. So I, I, I have to take Mr. Steve down the lane. He has, he has to have a little, you know, a little poo in a wee by, by the tree at the bottom of the lane. Do you mind telling people all about my personal habits? So I, I was taking Mr. Steve for a walk and, and we bumped into our next door neighbours and they, they asked us, we had an invite to go to do some... Yoga. Yoga yoga can you believe that i've never in my whole life i've never never done yoga but but you are you're you're a little bit into this aren't you steve because you like the meditation yes and the relaxation techniques yes yes i do yes so i have done a bit of yoga well i've done i haven't done i like i can't put me can you put your uh feet around the back of your neck i can put somebody else's feet around the back of my neck well we can all do but that. that's another story <laughs> i should have i should have known that was coming but that is yoga isn't it you've got to sort of stretch yourself in all sorts of different directions it's supposed to be very relaxing i do the meditation uh sort of 15 20 minutes of just sort of you know zoning out clearing my mind of troubles that shouldn't take very long you know I stress over all sorts of things, Mr. I, I say to Steve, empty your mind of everything. And it's just a couple of seconds. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to walk off again in a minute. If you're oh, going to be cruel. I have to be careful. To I have me. to be careful. Mr. Steve will, will, will flounce off. I'm in that kind of mood tonight. I could just I, I've heard, did vanish. I've heard that in the acting circles, you are a bit of a diva. A drama queen. A diva, yes. Mr. Steve thinks he's like some oh. some big famous actor now. I don't at all. I am renowned for being modest and not for causing problems and, and, and being a diva. That's not, that's not what I've heard. Oh, I would like to do yoga, says Leila. Leela. Yes, I, I'm not all that interested. I'm not a very... I'm not what I would... Yes, I'm not really spiritual, if I was honest. I like to walk around. I like to look at the trees. Oh. I like to see the birds. But I, I don't feel anything sort of beyond that. I just like to see the birds and the nature. I enjoy it. But I wouldn't describe myself as a spiritual person. I, I don't think I would ever do meditation or, or oh. yoga. Yes, but it's not uh, yoga, isn't it? It doesn't mean you have to be a Buddhist. I know that, but it's, it's, it's just a, it's a form of exercise. Yes. But I, I think also that... You don't have to get spiritual. But it isn't about yoga. body, is it? It's also about mind as well. Yeah, but it's just about calming your mind down because we've all got this constant inner chatter going on, this dialogue in our heads. And what yoga and meditation does is just... It's like pressing a reset button on a computer. It just settles your mind down into a... Into a like, it's like a mill pond, like a... Like a a, 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 um, a piece of water, like a lake that's completely calm and still without any ripples. And so you come out of it feeling wonderful. So uh, it has great benefits without you having to get into the religious side of things. Oh, I see. Do, you, do you know yoga is interesting because uh, many churches in the UK won't often have halls attached to the church halls the, halls like a room okay attached to the church which they hire out for various things but quite often the the church will not let the hall be hired out uh, to do yoga because they see it as a bit of a 
they do see it like it's a, some kind of other religion. Oh, I see. And well, it, well, uh, it's, it is connected, though, isn't it? It's connected. Well, that's it. It's connected to Buddhism. That's it. And, so, uh, so uh, actually, I, I kind of agree with them. If they don't like it, I, if 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 they think it interferes with their religion, then then why not? But what does yoga mean? I think yoga means num bottom, num. Because because you uh, sitting there for all that time, I'm sure your bum must become very numb. Well, you get into all sorts of positions. Imagine the benefits of being able to contort yourself Look, I into have, many positions. I have difficulty just standing up first thing in the morning, to be honest. He's not very flexible. Whereas <laughs> I, I, I'm bendy. You know, you can put me in any position. There's no answer to that. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm flexible. Yes, you're very flexible and bendy. Yes. Well, that's, that's what I've heard. When you get older, you need your joints to be flexible. Not that I am old, of course. Uh, well, oh, uh, we've Good got s we've got someone watching, and it's nearly it's nearly two o'clock in the morning in oh. the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, oh. and someone is saying, "I have lectures. It's seven o'clock, but I just <laughs> want to stay here with you." Oh, oh, isn't that nice? But I don't want to be responsible for your for your education or your your studying to to fall back. So please don't blame me. <laughs> no. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. We are not responsible for people missing their lectures. Tomek is here. Hello, Tomek. Um, what time have you guys started live streaming or even live screaming? <laughs> live screaming. Live screaming. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bit of live screaming, but that normally happens after we finish. There's a lot of screaming going on. So, no, we started or I started at 10.15. So around about quarter past 10. Actually, I think it was about 10 past. Sorry, 10 past 10. I started. And I'd forgotten you were on. So when I came back, <laughs> I thought, what's Mr. Duncan jabbering away? I think jabbering Ms. away. Jabber. I thought he's talking <laughs> to himself again. <laughs> he's going a bit, uh, <laughs> going a bit mad. Yes. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I suddenly realised you were doing your live stream. And I completely what? forgot. And I thought, I'm going to come home. <laughs> I'm just going to relax in front of the television, maybe have a little drink or something. And no, I can't. I've got to be here working. Yes. Uh, I'm only joking. It's almost it's, really a, it's almost eleven o'clock so, now. Yes. So jabber. If you jabber, it means you talk endlessly. Well, what what mm. would you say, Steve, if I told you that we're not even live at the moment on YouTube and I'm just pretending to do this? I'd punch you in the face. Okay then. We are definitely live on YouTube at the moment. Well, you can see oh, really? there's the live chat. You see. Oh yes. And there we are. Yes, you couldn't fake all that. You can't you? fake this. You see, because there we are. You see, there's Mr. Steve. And there is the live chat. So just to prove that we are actually live on YouTube. So there we are. Look at that. Isn't that magic? So there we are on the phone. And there we are in real time. Oh, isn't that nice? That's very exciting. It's very exciting. Well, <laughs> it made me excited anyway. But who needs yoga when you have live streaming? So I think I think my relaxation happens when I'm live streaming. So this is a kind of... This is a kind of therapeutic form of thought. Yes, it's your little outlet. Thought and relaxation. So, yes, I enjoy this. I think it's very, very therapeutic. Anything that takes your mind off, off worries. So if it's yoga, if it's exercise, some people like to exercise, some people like to, to do sports or social interaction is very good. In fact, that I, that was a, there's a case in point today. I've got a few problems at work today, as we often do. And uh, I was feeling a bit uh, sort of down about it, all a bit upset. We went outside. We spoke to the neighbours. And within 10 minutes, I felt as right as rain. Social interaction is very good therapy. Uh, and uh, I think sometimes we like to think that, particularly me, I like to think that I don't need much social interaction a burp. Um, and uh, but it's very important i think isn't it i want to burp <coughs> fancy doing it live I, I, i'm sorry I, I had a bit of a burp coming up then a little burp do you want me to do you want me to there there come on come on get it up mr duncan nobody can, what <laughs> i'll rub your back for your burp to come no, up no one can see what you're doing well they can sort of see that's what you do with a baby isn't it you sort of when, pat it on its back when you want a baby to burp you 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 tap it on its back yes 
I think, I think you do. Not that I really know. I've okay, never that's, had a baby. That's very good. I don't know what that looked like. It must have looked very strange. Bon appetit, Mr. Duncan. Oh, thank you very much for that. Oh, we've got quite a few people coming on who apparently haven't been here. Adams, Ooh. Adams Sane says, oh, great, Mr. Duncan. It's been a long time. Yes, Adams. Welcome back. I haven't seen you for a long time. Where have you been? Hello. Technology is amazing. Yes, technology is fantastic. And hopefully next week it will get even more amazing because my new computer is coming. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. I think I'll go out that day. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, do you speak very much in your daily life? Yes, I do. When I'm talking to neighbours or when I'm talking on the phone or if I'm talking to Mr. Steve. I never listen. No, that's true. I've, I've developed a way of just switching it off over the years. <laughs> In my country, the electricity is going to be turned off, says Rabber Cordy. Why is that? that? Where are you at the Where moment? Where are you? I know yesterday there was some... Did you hear about the news? Um, some terrible news from Taiwan. They had a terrible, terrible earthquake. And did you see the pictures of that hotel, that ho whole hotel fell and then toppled over? And oh, so I've and so that. this hotel is now leaning at this very awkward and, dare I say it, precarious angle. So can I just say hello to anyone watching in Taiwan? My thoughts are with you. And of course, I have a friend who lives in Taiwan as well. You do so, indeed. So, yes, very, uh, very dramatic pictures coming from Taiwan yesterday. I didn't see that on the news. Yes, it was uh, it was featured a lot on the Internet. A lot of photographs were, were coming out of Taiwan yesterday. My son has is joining us now, Mr. Duncan. He he does accept. He doesn't he does accept to go to sleep. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't want to go to sleep. Oh, I see. So your son does not want to go to sleep because now he heard my voice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, if, if you leave my voice on, may, maybe he will go to sleep because apparently some people say that my voice makes people want to to go to sleep. You see, that's why. Oh, have we got any financial experts out there tonight? Because uh, oh, well, it's tonight here. I'd like to know what I should do with uh, we should do with the stock market at the moment. Anybody oh, interested in uh, shares? Does anyone care about the stock market? Because this time next week it will all be going back up again. I'm not so sure. This always happens every time. I'm not so sure this time. People start to panic. Should we sell? Talking of shares and stock. A lot of people have been talking about Bitcoin recently and all the cryptocurrencies. Now, my yes. computer, you might not believe this, but there is a connection between the price that I paid for my computer and cryptocurrencies. Can, can you think of what the connection might be? There is a connection. I will tell you in a moment. Mr. Duncan, can you please say goodnight to my wife, Carla, asks Ernesto. Good night, Carla. Good night. Have a sweet dream. Dream of something nice. And then tomorrow morning you will wake up fully refreshed. So have a nice rest and a sweet dream, Carla. Night, night. Don't let the bed, bed bugs bite. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Do, have you ever had an earthquake in your country or in your life i've never experienced a serious earthquake but now and again here in the uk we do have little tremors they, tremors so it isn't really an earthquake it's just when the the ground moves slightly but you can feel it but it isn't serious so we have little earth tremors tremors Yes, we're not in a what not on an active earthquake uh, zone. Yes, so fortunately where okay. we are, we we don't really ever have earthquakes. They I do in Italy, though, don't they? Which yes, is not too far away yes. from us. 
And, and many parts of Europe, certainly southern Europe, a lot of them, they sit on these these fault lines. So it's where it's where different pieces of land meet. And sometimes they they shift. And when they shift, you get an earthquake. But tectonic for, plates, tectonic plates. Yes. The big yeah. pieces of land that it, it squeezed together and there's lots and lots of pressure behind this and now yes. and again it will move and when it moves you get an earthquake but fortunately where we are the united kingdom it doesn't sit on any any major fault lines that's it it's so. actually interesting if you look back over millions and millions of years all the land masses were all all together they were all coalesced together and over the millions of years because of the tectonic plates moving we've all moved gradually apart yes well uh, when you think about it 100 million years ago mm. where we are standing now here was actually where australia is now yes. can you believe it and also it was underwater yeah so so where i'm standing now around about two maybe a couple of hundred million years ago this was actually the bottom of the sea where I'm standing now and this place was where Australia is now it's incredible but it's true thank you for your good job says Khalid thank you very much good night Mr Duncan thank you very much a lot of people now are going to bed apparently Sudia says bitcoins are like girlfriends they often get you into trouble i think Ooh, so yes the, the 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 value of bitcoins has been dropping quite dramatically hasn't it over the last uh, few weeks yes well of course many people have been buying it because they they think that they will miss out they, they think that they will mm. lose out but now of course people are realizing that it is just a big bubble it but, isn't real but the, the thing i was going to say i was I was trying to choose some some parts to go into my computer and apparently because many people are now are trying to find bitcoins they call it mining mining but to do this you need lots of computers and also these computers have to be quite powerful and what people have been doing they've been buying lots of computer parts uh, processors but most of all graphics cards so the graphics cards have been bought by many of these people that are mining for cryptocurrency uh, and also Bitcoin, because that is one of them. Is that what you're going to be doing with your new computer? I'm not going to be. Def I'm definitely not going to be doing that. But apparently it's put the price of all of these components up. So that's why a lot of the things for computers now have become very expensive. And this is because of all these people trying to to search for bitcoins uh cryptocurrencies on the internet uh, you need lots of computers to do it is it i don't quite know how it works apparently they, they call it mining i don't know i don't know how it works i don't but there's a lot of people uh richard branson being one of them who are very keen on uh, promoting cryptocurrencies because they want to find a way of uh breaking out of the financial systems that have been around for hundreds of years in the western world dominated by stock markets and big banks and they want to find a way of using these cryptocurrencies to uh, to get out of this system that we've been used to mm. for, for many many years well al already it, it it's hit a problem because some of the banks here in the uk have now banned the use of credit cards so some of the big banks here in the uk have now said mm. you can't use our money that is the bank's money to buy mm. cryptocurrencies so they've actually banned that so you can't use your credit card to buy bitcoins because then if you do that then that is the bank's money that you are using and there is a pretty good chance that everything will eventually crash and then the bank will be left with a lot of money that the other person owes them. So they've banned it. I read a news story yesterday. I don't know whether it was fake news or not. That Richard Branson had bought a huge stake in Bitcoin. No. Uh, 
No, it's it's not true. Is it fake news? Yes, it's another one of these ah. things. That I think what a lot of people are doing now, they're trying to re they're trying to reinflate the bubble. They're trying to get everyone interested again because it's interesting. Yes, because the problem is people are, are, are starting to become very aware of the fact that, well, maybe it isn't such a good idea to invest in cryptocurrency. What, so you've heard you've heard that this story was going around that it's fake. Yes. The, no, the story ah. isn't the story going around isn't fake. But the, the story that Richard Branson is now sitting on a big pile of bitcoins is is not true no no oh, that's, that's what i meant Mi multi-billionaires are not buying bitcoins because <laughs> if they were they they would have them all by now wouldn't they they would be controlling them but they they don't because I thought it was a fake i thought it was a fake news story i was reading donald trump's right there is so much fake news out there what there is can a lot you trust there is a lot of fake news but i think fake news has always existed it's just become very trendy to talk about fake news but if you look back uh, over the years you you will notice that there have been lots and lots of things that have been covered up or or stories that have been reported that later turn out to be untrue so yes during the 50s there are many 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 fake stories many things that were were said in the news to get people worried about certain situations a good example being the cold war of course between the the west and russia so i remember way back when all sorts of stories were being reported about what's happening in russia and later it turned out that many of these stories were not in fact true so you might say that there is a kind of history repeating itself at the moment. Yes, who do you trust? Well, you trust yourself, first of all. That's who I trust. So always trust yourself. And what I always say is look at both sides of every argument. So if there is an argument, if there is a debate, look at both sides. Don't just take one side blindly. And that's what I tend to do. So I like watching all sorts of different news channels. So I watch the BBC. I also watch Russian news. And also I watch Al Jazeera, which tends to concentrate on stories from the Middle East. So I tend to watch news from many different sources. And I get my news from different places. And then I make up my own mind as to what how or how genuine it is it's all biased a lot of it is there are there are definitely biases with, with, with news reporting and what you read in the paper you've got to realize that the the primary primary responsibility of a newspaper editor is to sell papers so that is his prime motivator so sometimes that the stories they put in there will be not necessarily 100% true, but they will be designed to sell newspapers. Yes. And, and of uh. course, these days, these days, newspapers are finding it very hard to get noticed because the sales of newspapers has has plummeted. It's gone down a lot over the past five, six years. In fact, in our local shop here in Much Wenlock, there is one particular newspaper very popular in this country. And they always try to give it to us for free. So they are so desperate now to get people to read their newspapers that they actually offer to give it to you for free. Now, you're supposed to pay for it, but they say, would you like a free newspaper? And, and, and we always say, no, thank you, because right. the newspaper is is not a very nice newspaper. Let's not just say. this particular one not this particular newspaper so we we choose not to read it so we always have to have to very politely decline but it just shows how desperate the newspaper industry is because they're even giving their newspapers away it's amazing mr duncan i am sukinia uh, from morocco i thank you for all that you do and I am fine to say that most of the Moroccan people follow your lessons. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Yes, I know I do have a lot of people watching in Morocco. That is true. So the reason why I'm here tonight, and of course, Mr. Steve has joined me as well, is because my new computer is officially being built. 
and hopefully next week it will be delivered mr steve he's very excited yes <laughs> now I, I i'm pretty sure someone is going to ask mr duncan are you going to use your computer for playing games I don't play computer games. I, I can't remember the last time I played a computer game. It must be 15, 20 years ago since I played a computer game. So, no, I'm not buying the computer to play computer games on. So I'm not that kind of computer user. Although you could do. It's probably the most powerful computer in the known Western world. It's, it's I must say, you it's... You could probably it, out-game anybody on the internet. It's very up-to-date. Look, <laughs> I mean, wow, I mean... I'm going to get a glass of water. Look at that. My throat is... Uh... Yes, I mean, the, 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 the actual processor is an i7-8700K. And it's got six cores. Oh, six cores. That's a lot of threads. For those who know about processors, the more threads you have, the, the, the better the processor works. And this will overclock up to five gigahertz wow so that's very fast and also i'm getting a nice graphics card as well hi sukunia nice to meet you here with mr duncan oh that's nice leela is saying hello to sukania i want to learn english says Anost anosto well you've come to the right place because this is where we all improve our english even me. <laughs> I think mining bitcoins consists of maintaining the Bitcoin ledger. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I wish I understood bitcoins because they're, they're invisible. They don't really exist. But yet they do exist. Yes, but, you're investing in something that basically doesn't exist. It's a bit like this image. The thing you're watching now. It's very strange this the thing you are watching now doesn't really exist yet it does exist well we exist we're not like bitcoin yes we but, do yes exist. we exist but does this picture exist does the image exist ah how do you mean well is it real it's just electronic blips it's just electronic signals. It's just lots of ones and zeros. So is it real? Well, I don't want to think like that. We're real. We're well, here. We're real. Definitely. Well, well, maybe we're not. Well, I am. I'm not sure about Steve. Who knows that there is a theory, isn't there, that uh, uh, we don't really exist. We're in fact a supercomputer <laughs> uh, on, on an alien table somewhere. Uh, and that... Uh, we are in fact what they say is that in the future computers oh will become so powerful yeah. that they will have infinite capabilities yes because the doesn't the power of chips double every so many years yes computer processors uh, computer processors are incredible now i mean the one that i'm getting next week in my computer is just incredible it's so fast and of course the way you can store information storage on computers is just incredible you can have 10 15 or even 20 terabytes of information saved just onto one to one device it's incredible I, mm. I i find it all very exciting to be honest but they say eventually computers will be so powerful that they will have infinite uh calculating power which means that they can literally create anything there is one theory of the of our existence and in fact we don't really exist we're just a computer program that uh, has, was invented millions of years ago and is still running oh i see yes. so, so so we're th we're all just existing in a computer program exactly uh, such a powerful computer program that it can literally create reality no it's true apparently that's what will eventually happen just as eventually as processing power keeps intelligence uh, of computers keeps going up eventually they will equal our intelligence and then they'll double treble and before you know it it'll be uh, like being on the on the set of a science fiction film on the set of a science fiction film <laughs> yes so there'll be cameras and microphones everywhere well, like being in a science fiction. Or, or just yeah. like being in the future. I'm thinking, what's that famous film where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger goes back in time? and uh, Go on, you can do it. 
No, tell me. No, you you do it. Go on. He's being very mean. Total recall. No. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's one of. Well, he he does he does do something in Total Recall. No, he's 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 a robot, isn't he? Yes. That, that well, that'd be Terminator. Terminator. That's what how, I'm thinking. How of. can you not remember Terminator? Well, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could, I could, but I just got the wrong movie. But you couldn't remember Terminator. No, not on the spur of the moment. He's oh. been very mean to me tonight. I'll be back. Something's happened. Something's gone wrong. I don't know what it is. Something's happened. He's a bit tetchy tonight. Hasta la a vista. Bit moody. Hasta la vista, baby. He's ordered something and he's sending it back to Amazon. So obviously something's gone wrong. I am. Tonight. I had something delivered today I've from Amazon, noticed. and it's, it's, it's been broken into. All the things inside are missing. Wow. Yes. So I'm sending it back. What? Really? Yes. Somebody's broken into it and taken all the things out. Lovely. So I had something delivered and, and the box has been opened and some of the some of the things mm. inside the box have been stolen. They've been taken. So I'm sending it back, but I'm getting a refund. I've already written to Amazon and they've already promised a refund. So that's all I sorted. I knew something had happened. But that's I was, why he's tetchy tonight. I was really annoyed, I tell you. But this was a nice little part to go with the new computer. Is yes, it's, some, it's something I really need. Yeah, exactly. How annoying. <laughs> Thieves in our postal system. Money is a strange concept, too, because yes. it's it's only a piece of paper. Well, mm. I, I'm always fascinated yes. by by how money came to be. So how did we how did we get from just shuffling around and, and killing animals with spears and living under trees how do we get from that point to actually having credit cards that you just wave in front of the cashier mm. and then all of your all of your things all of the things you've you've bought are paid for instantly it's amazing isn't it so so really money doesn't really exist money is nothing and yet it's everything it's a bit well, of a yes. it's a bit of a bit of a paradox really before money came along we just used to well, i don't know when money first came along but uh, before it did we used just used to barter with each other Carlid is going to bed i am Coming enjoying off. i'm enjoying your you guys but i have to sleep okay Carlid, have a nice have, have a, a nice, cup of coffee and stay up have a nice rest <laughs> i had a lovely <sighs> wait there i had a lovely message come through just a moment. Ah, yes. From Mohammed al -Raya. Mr. Duncan, I'm very grateful because I followed your channel for quite a long period to prepare myself for the IELTS. And guess what? Mm. I scored eight. Wow. wow, that's very good. No, that's very good. That's you're, you're, you're way up there. Yeah, that's very good. So very soon I'll be kicking, kicking the dust in the UK. Yes, I think so. Eight is a very good score. Anything over 6.7, anything just below seven and over. Very good. So eight is excellent. Well done. Is the picture of you more real than your reality? Well, that's it. Who knows? Who knows what is real? I'm sure everyone will have enough information which one might which one might need to know. So could we please skip this topic? says Sudia. Oh, I see. So Sudia doesn't want to hear about my new computer anymore. OK, no problem. The generation oh. of your computer. Oh, dear. Someone is someone is talking about the computer again. <laughs> the generation of your computer's processor is generation eight, says Rabia. Yes, it's true. It's the eighth generation of the the computer processor. Just to give you an idea of how old my old computer is. We know. My old computer processor is generation one. It's true. It's the first generation of the Intel i7 processors. It's the very first one that they produced. Oh, I'm very, very, very sleepy all of a sudden. I think Mr. I'm Duncan. I think I'm boring Mr. Steve. So, yes, yes. So my computer is very old, but the new one coming next week is bang up to date we know it really know. is i'm very excited oliavo says hello charles of olavo from brazil here 
Hello, Charles. Brazil. Brazil again. Ah, Steve is a big fan of Brazil. He really wants to go there. I like the coffee. Yes. Didn't we have this conversation last week? We did. Brazilian coffee. I always go for that. I said that last week. It's smooth. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole asks, would you like a house with a humanoid robot to assist you? Well, I think oh, I've already oh, got oh. I think I've already got one now. And that, that's Mr. Steve, well, you see. You haven't programmed me very well, no. is all I can say. All I can say, that. I think he needs a new floppy disk. <laughs> then my hard disk's all right. Yes, your hard disk's okay, but <laughs> but but your other disk has become very floppy. So well, very... you know, I, I need a bit of an upgrade. I think you should do some yoga. I need an upgrade. Maybe I need a new graphics card. So, so how long does it take to get good at yoga? How many lessons do you need before you get really good at it? Oh, I should think you need a three to six months, I would think, before you could uh, get good at yoga. They'd start with the old cross leg position, I would think, and uh, I think you you how do you how do you there's a, you have to do that, don't you, with your fingers? Can you show us on that table? Not really. Can you? I can't do it. Can you demonstrate on the table? No. Can you give us some simple move? I don't want an accident to be broadcast live around the world. Go on, Mr. Steve. Uh, see, oh, no, that's it. That's what you do. Mr. Steve does a do lot that. of that. Yes. And then you sit cross-legged and you you have your arms out out like yeah, this. Yeah, we can't you? see your legs. You see, that's why you have to get on the table. I th I think Mr. Uh, Steve should get on the table and show you exactly what's needed when you when you do. So, I'm not getting on the table. So when you meditate, what do you do? What do you just lie down on the ground? Yeah, well, you can you can. There's various ways of meditating. Uh, the traditional way is cross-legged with your with your with your your arms out like this, with your elbows on your knees. But you can. That's a traditional sort of Buddhist way. But you can lie down on a bed. You can sit in a chair. The idea is you don't want to go to sleep. Oh, You're I see. Trying to get your brain in a very relaxed state of mind so you focus by doing this so you've got to lie on the bed but not go to sleep that's very hard to do i mean well i mean the, the, the bed is there for you to sleep on so so the temptation is to actually go to sleep yes uh, lying on the bed isn't the ideal place to do meditation you want to probably be sit, sitting upright in a chair or, or maybe in your front garden uh, yeah you can do it anywhere on the lawn you don't want noise and then you you need to in order to calm your mind down you need to focus on on one little repeating thing so the common thing is just to you try to draw your attention towards your breathing uh or you can count i like to count or you can you can repeat a phrase over and over and you have to focus absolutely on this one task some people look at a candle flame and then eventually after five or ten minutes your brain your, your mind will settle down can you so can you, you concentrate on sheep well, what about sheep like jumping over a, over a gate? That's what I do, you see, when I relax. I watch sheep jumping over a you gate. You can watch them for real, out of the window. <laughs> there, is really, there is really no thinking whilst doing yoga, Mr. That's Steve. It. There's no thinking. You don't so, think about anything. How, how, do you, how do you get that out of your head, though? Because I would find oh. it very difficult, because there, there's always something on your mind, isn't there? Even, even during the day when I relax... I still have at least maybe two things going around my head. Well, no, so what you do is you focus on your breathing or you count one to four and keep repeating this over and over again. Or you you have a chant like om, something like that. And you keep um. and you just focus on that one little thing all the time. And then that that calms your mind down and then. But your, your mind will wander, so your thoughts of the day will come back in, and then you just return back to your focus point, which is the, the breathing or, 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 or counting or, or, or your mantra uh, that you might repeat. Apparently, some people are suggesting that you should teach yoga on YouTube. Oh! I'm not, oh. Sure, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, I really. Yoga. I could do meditation, but uh, yoga's, uh, yoga is all the different exercises. I'm not very good at the exercises um but i do know how to do meditation meditation yes it's amazing actually i think many celebrities now they are getting into the uh, the meditation they they find that 
the life of being a famous superstar is is quite stressful i, I know the feeling i really do yeah, so yeah. Uh, so yes maybe i should try it maybe it can relieve my my stress of being on youtube all the time and all of the stress that i've suffered over the past two or three weeks oh trying... you've suffered i've really suffered you you have no idea how much i suffer just so i can get onto youtube yes i think the robots will come in the future because look at the rocket launch yesterday the rocket launch they will be they will be we will have intelligent robots one day falcon what was it falcon heavy it's a strange name isn't it for a rocket yeah. falcon heavy what about you should have just called it the millennium falcon that would have been really cool oh, back to star wars again star wars it's not 1978 anymore uh, oh well, last last weekend by the way I, I made a mistake i said that the new star wars film was next year but in fact it's in may so may this year the new star wars film with han solo when he was young will be released in may so you yes. lost half your audience there no i think i've doubled my audience because lots of people like star wars yeah. i i reckon by the year 2025 there will be a new star wars movie every month i think so so i think by the time 2025 comes i think every month there will be a new star wars film god forbid <laughs> uh i like star wars Meditation helps to stop the inner monologue that we have. Yes, you've got it. Belarusia. It. Belarusia. Well inner done. Inner monologue. Belarusia. Well done. Yes, the inner monologue is the voice that you hear. Normally you have just one voice and that is your voice, your inner monologue. Hmm. Constantly we're going over scenarios, going over events of the day and maybe fantasizing about things which haven't really happened. I do a lot of that. Something happens and uh, an event will happen, but my mind will take it off into all sorts of fantasy lands and uh, particularly over conflict uh, with somebody. Then you'll go over what you wanted to say. Well, why didn't I say that? And you'll spin off into all sorts of... And that creates a lot of tension, a lot yeah. of stress yes, in, I think, in your I think, mind. I think some people are very prone to to having these inner conflicts so the conflicts yes. the conflicts that occur in your mind and normally they relate to things that have happened in the past so maybe an argument that you had with someone maybe a year ago or maybe five years ago and yet the, the thing itself is still going around in your head and you think to yourself I wish I had said that I wish I had said that instead so it's, it's very easy to let these things take over your mind. The brain is very good at, uh, at recalling past events because uh, it, it doesn't know what's real and what isn't. Your mm. mind doesn't know what's real and what isn't. Only you do. Yes. And so it will, if, if something happens, it will present you with, with, with ex similar examples of what happened in the past because it thinks that that's going to help you deal with whatever's happening now. But quite often it doesn't. And it was useful when we were running around in the forest because all we got to really worry about was if we came across a wild animal, is that wild animal is safe or isn't it? Or is that plant good for us or isn't? But we're so overstimulated with so many things in today's environment. It's triggering memories, past events all the time. And really it's causing a lot of stress. Your brain uses a vast amount of energy when it's doing all this and it can be very exhausting my my my, my brain's using a lot of energy just understanding what you just said <laughs> so <laughs> i i think i think the thing is overthinking is bad and not thinking enough is just as bad so it, it's very hard to get that brain just in the right place in fact i did a lesson all about memories I don't know if you've seen it, but there is a YouTube video on my channel and it's all about memory. It's very long. It's also very artistic as well. So I put a lot of effort into making that particular lesson. So, yes, I've made quite a few long, full length lessons on my YouTube channel. 
Could you speak? 500, haven't you? Do you speak slower than the average English person? No, not really. Oh. Some people speak faster than me. Some people speak slower. There isn't really an average. So you might go down the road and you might meet someone who might say, hey, good morning. Are you OK? Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, I had a good night last night. I went out with my friends. See, so that's slow. Or you might meet someone who speaks very quick, very fast. Lee. Fast, fastly. Quickly. Oh, I thought Mr. was going to say... <laughs> I was correcting you there, Mr. Duncan. Fast. I thought you were going to say fastly. There's no such word as fastly. Quickly, <laughs> yes. So they have a very... Fast pace. I think how we're talking now is, is fairly average. I think this is average, really. Average, I mean, average. I'm not I'm not trying to speak slowly. This is how I normally speak. So some people speak very clearly. And of course, I am an English teacher. So it is fair to say that I have to make sure that people can understand me because there is no point. There's no point being an English teacher if the people you are talking to can't understand you it's pointless pointless i'm going to bed in a minute mr duncan i'm that's getting nuts. tired that's good okay mr steve was going so so you want to go off i'm gonna Ms. go brush my teeth mr mr steve is going to brush his teeth he's going to what else are you going to do I'm going to do my pre-sleep relaxation ah. exercises so he's going to have a little meditation before he goes a little to bit of mindfulness before he goes to sleep how I strange. Like mindfulness, because I like to clear my head of all the worries and the events of the day. You know, in the olden sleep, days, because otherwise I can't get to sleep. You know, you know, you know, about a thousand years ago, they used to they used to drill holes in people's heads because they thought that the problems they were having were, were evil spirits inside their heads. So they, they used to actually drill holes in their head. So so the evil spirits would escape. Trepanning. Dream call, about that tonight. They Mr. call Duncan. it. They call it trepany, trepany, or trepanning. Yes, it's horrible, isn't it? Well, so hope that doesn't make just, it come back. Yes, I hope so. so I, need, I need, I need that like a hole in the head. So I'm going to bid you good night and leave Mr. Duncan to wrap up. I don't know how much longer he's going to go on for, but I am going to go and brush my teeth. Do my pre-sleep relaxation mental exercises so that I don't go to bed with all the worries of the day on my mind. It doesn't always work because sometimes I wake up at four o'clock in the morning worrying about this, that and the other. Uh, so until next time, I bid you farewell <laughs> and <laughs> sleep tight if you're about to go to sleep or if you're about to wake up, uh, then uh, have a lovely day. Particularly if you're in Florida, that's going to be nice. Yes, have a nice, nice day on the beach. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Steve. Oh, I've stolen your line there. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I, I think I'll survive. Mr. Steve has gone now. <laughs> what are, you, are you trying to crawl? I don't want to be seen on the camera. Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve has gone and I will go in a minute as well because it is coming up to 20 minutes to midnight. Yes, we are live on YouTube at the moment. So for those who have been watching, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. It's been a little different. And of course, now you know that the computer, the new computer is on its way. Can I once again say thank you to all those who helped with your donations and of course Mr Steve also made a, a lovely generous donation and of course I also made a donation as well to my own computer fund so the computer is coming next week and I am very happy don't forget I am here on Sunday Sunday from 2 p.m UK time but I won't be here on the 18th so on the 18th of February I won't be here but this Sunday I will so I hope that's cleared that up thank you very much to Vishal thank you Vishal it's nice to see you here thank you very much thank you Rosa thank you Rabia Nicole 
I've just arrived says Sukat I've just arrived it's now it's now 8 40 p.m. oh I see so you must be over there in America or maybe South America I think so perhaps Brazil who knows good night Mr. Steve Mr. Steve has gone his eyes are so little <laughs> they are I think he's a bit tired to be honest thank you for today's live stream Belarusia you are welcome I will see you on Sunday I'm going to bed now because I'm very very tired and I have been standing here for almost one and a half hours so I will see you on Sunday thanks a lot for joining me this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thank you very much for joining me for this very late live stream it is now 20 minutes to midnight here in the UK and I will see you on Sunday 2 p.m UK time I'm going now of course you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now